Welcome to The Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens with The Deal's Corporate Dealmaker. We're working on a story right now that will be in our mid-September issue of The Deal on careers in corporate development, but it's a topic that we've been writing about all summer on our website, and it's been generating loads of traffic, uh, particularly in the context of investment bankers changing careers uh, and moving into positions in corporate development. Uh, so to talk a little bit more about that, we've invited uh, Michael Rosenblatt in. Michael, thanks for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Michael is president and founder of the Quest Organization, an executive uh, recruitment firm and staffing agency. And Michael, so we've been seeing big spikes in our traffic on our website when we write about investment bankers transitioning into corporate jobs. Are you hearing from investment bankers? Both. Uh, we've had a significant influx of uh, resumes coming from investment bankers who have lost their job and quite a few people who are calling inquiring about if they should lose, what are their options, and actually looking to us for career guidance um, as to what are their options are because a lot of them are really uh, concerned. Yeah, you know, the sure. The security of the job based on the economy and what's happening in their own company. Understandably, I, mean, I think that there's been thousands of uh, investment bankers uh, laid off uh, here in New York City alone. So, who is hiring? Corporate strategy groups are hiring and trying to capitalize on the fact that there are so many talented people now coming on the market, and it's opened up options for them that they didn't have before, basically because the compensation issues are so significantly right. different. Right, and we can talk um, about that in a little bit. Sure. In, in addition, the consulting firms and service providers are also hiring and picking up some of these folks. And that's another viable option that we have found for some of the companies. Because uh, in good times or bad times, the service providers can actually get more business <laughs> when the times are bad, because they have a chance, to, and as, as an example, in the credit world, the working out of the loans and trying to redo some of the financing issues has created another uh, set of uh, business needs and uh, people needs which has been also attractive. So the consulting side has also grown. Some of those companies are growing quite rapidly. Well, on the on the corporate development side, we've written about, it seems like about once a week we see an investment banker who's transitioning into a job in corporate development. But the skill sets don't match up perfectly, necessarily, from investment banker transitioning into a corporate job. No, you're, you're correct. It, on the investment banking side, they're more transaction and deal making. Uh, sales skills are very important. With corporate strategy, the sales skills are not required, and mm -hmm. they're much more analytical. Um, in addition, on the investment banking side, they're really not familiar with integrating companies. So there's a number of skill sets that are not uh, within this uh, the, uh, the skill set of an investment banker that are required for corporate strategy. But I think what corporate strategy groups are saying is there's some very bright people that have very strong analytical skills, they're very bright, they understand certain industry segments, and they get very specialized in certain, they'll look for certain industry that match their industry segments. As an example, if there are Fortune 100 manufacturer of computers, they're going to look for people that may have worked in those arenas within an investment bank. Uh, so there's certainly that opportunity, but there is a big difference uh, in some of the, the transitions mm -hmm. <laughs> from one to the other, which, uh, which is another issue. But yes, they are looking for opportunities because now they can attract people they could not afford to attract in the past. Well, and that leads us into compensation issues um, right off the bat. There's, so there are uh, some skill sets. There's a learning curve there for an investment banker uh, moving into corporate development. But there's also some adjusting when it comes to compensation because there are very few corporations out there that can afford to pay uh, a banker what they were making uh, at an iBank. So how, how big is that gap? It's fairly significant um, because, uh, again, on the deal side, their bonuses are significant. That's a big right. part of the compensation. The corporate strategy, it's more base, and there may be some bonuses, but they're nowhere near as uh, significant as on the, uh, on the in the investment banking world. So uh, what we've seen, though, this uh, psychology of the, of, the employee, of the employee and the investment banker is changing, and there's a lot of folks so, who... It, it, how so? Well, where it was all about the deal and the money, now it's security is becoming an issue, which is usually a, a need for most people, is becoming a key issue. And if I told you how many people, I'm going to say close to 50% that have come to us are saying, where can I do this? What can I do that's going to be more more stable than what I've done before, including you know, taking a significant uh, change in the cost of uh, uh, compensation level? And um, they're willing to take a lot less money. So its compensation is different, but there's a real cultural shift that's necessary, too, coming from an investment banking sure. uh, arena where it's kind of a churn, um, and when you're done with a deal, you close it and move on, versus a corporate environment where there might be a little more uh, thought, a little more strategic, high-level thinking uh, before a deal even gets rolling. Yeah, right. And that is a, a, an issue. As a, The hiring managers uh, certainly have a, 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 a concerns in that arena because if you bring people in that have been on a deal side and they can certainly assimilate and learn the skill set, uh, they may not long term be happy in that particular role. And the concern comes in when the market changes, 
or will they in fact then go back to what they were doing before? And the answer is a lot of them will. <laughs> and some right. may not. If their psychology, you know, seriously has changed the stability, being the fact that they may be very happy in a corporate role, but many will not be happy, will not be challenged, will not be satisfied working in a corporate strategy versus an investment banking role. And when the market does change they and the opportunities there to oh, go back. Oh, yes. They okay. will and they do. <laughs> well, Michael, thanks so much for coming in. This is a topic we'll be writing about and your insights have been really valuable. My pleasure. Uh, I'm Suzanne Stevens. Thanks for watching The Deal. And watch for our story on careers in corporate development in the mid-September issue of The Deal.